Thank you for tuning in for our broadcast with our Master Teacher, Apostle Jeremiah Cummings, with tonight's teaching entitled, I Know Who I Am. My God. I know. I know. And God wants us to know who we are. I want to send out a blessing from the book of Psalms, chapter number 20 and verse number 4. May God grant you your heart's desire and the fulfillment of all your plans. I, I read that today and the Lord just laid it on my heart to send it out to you. May the Lord bless you, Psalms chapter number 20 and verse number 4. May the Lord bless you with your heart's desire and the fulfillment of all your plans. My God, what a powerful scripture. You know, and I've been reading the Bible for about 40 years, and that just jumped out that I need to send that out to somebody, you know, in Psalms 20 and verse number 4. I want to talk to you tonight about our inheritance. We have an inheritance, and that inheritance lets us know who we are. I was in my notes, you know, and I want to greet all of you. I know I'm coming in, you know, we've been trying to adjust some things here before you came on. But I was in my notes from two years ago, and I was looking for a particular scripture that I wanted to share with you. And I remember two years ago when I gave it um, at our church, uh, I, I just kept driving it home, you know, because we have to listen to the Word and, and get an understanding of what the Word of God is saying. And I read Deuteronomy chapter number 32 and verse number 29. And it just jumped out at me all over again. And I want to share that with you tonight. I'm, I'm, I'm just really excited. Deuteronomy, go to Deuteronomy. Go to Deuteronomy. Chapter number 32 and verse number 29. That word, you know, stands today. And, and one of the things that I desire is to make you wise. Amen. That you would have wisdom and that you would know the word. Wisdom comes from knowing the word and then let the word identify the will of God and the plan of God for your life, and then you believe it. Amen. Now, Jesus said, all things are possible to them that believe. Well, anything in the Word of God that you believe is possible. Amen. Amen. And just like I just read from uh, Psalms 20 and verse number 4, may the Lord grant you your heart's desire. That is the will of God. God wants to grant you, and I know all of us got a heart desire. I don't care if it's money, if it's a car, if it's a home, if it's love. You know, we have a heart desire. And the Bible says, God, listen, in other words, God wants to bless you and me with our heart's desire and the fulfillment of all of our plans. When you know who you are, you can make it happen by faith. Amen. Because God already said He wants to bless you with your heart desire. Amen. And the fulfillment of all of your plans. What you got planned? What is your heart's desire? So this scripture that I want to give you tonight, and I want to say to Brother Michael Eugene Jordan up there in Brockton, Massachusetts, I had a chance to, to, con to conversate with him this week, and he's been on with us for so long and such a great supporter of this work. And I just want to give a shout out to him tonight, Brother Michael Jordan, uh, up in Broxton, Massachusetts. Our Ambassador uh, Zelma, who is taking notes and writing down scripture. I don't know if I sent you Psalms 20 verse 4, Ambassador, but you can go to it, it's there. Amen. And put it up for the people to see it. Now this scripture is deep. Deuteronomy 32 and verse number 29 is deep. Listen to what it says. It says, Oh, that they were wise. In other words, Oh, if the people were wise. Amen. And <laughs> I could just teach on that. 
Because wisdom, the Bible says, is the principal thing. And the only way that we're going to be wise, we got to study the Word of God. We got to recite the Word of God. We got to retain the Word of God. And the Word of God is a book of wisdom. The Bible is a book of wisdom. Profound wisdom. Amen. It'll make you wiser than a master's degree out of the biggest university in the world. Amen. The, it's the, the Bible, I, I once taught that the Bible is full of mathematics, it's full of science, it's full of geography, you know, it's full of everything. Mathematics, it's full of everything. It'll make you wise. I tell people all the time, I was traveling around the world for 17 years. I say, I'm not that smart, y'all. I'm not that wise. But it's the spirit that God has imparted to me that gives me wisdom and leads me in the word. And it'll do the same thing for you. Amen. He says, oh, that they were wise. That understand this. Watch this. Oh, if you were wise and understood this, he said, they could discern their future. It's in the Bible. He said, they, you will be able to discern your future and your ultimate fate. If you, and you can get that. The Bible tells you about your future. God says, I know the plans that I have for you. You know, plans of, uh, uh, of success. You know, plans to bring you to an expected end. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. He said, thoughts of good and not evil to bring you to an expected end. God has plans for you. And He never planned for you to fail. He never planned for you to be defeated. He never planned for you to be sick, to have poverty, and to be unhappy. That is not the plan of God. That is sleuth for the devil's plan. But the Bible says, oh, if you were wise, he said, and that you understood this. What? If you understood the word of God and that you and I have an inheritance and God has chosen us, amen, for his own inheritance. I'm going to share that with you next. You got to say, I've been chosen for God's inheritance. Over in the book of Romans, chapter number 8 and verse number 17, it says, if we are his children, then we are his heirs and heirs of Christ. We're heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ. I mean, we have inherited something. We have an inheritance that we didn't have to pay for. Christ paid for it at Calvary. And when he was raised from the dead, he said, all power this day is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Then he says, I give you the same power. Ain't but one faith, y'all. The Bible said that there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. So it ain't but one faith. And that's the faith of God. Amen. The God kind of faith. And if you have been born again, if you have been raised from the spiritual death of Satan's dark world, amen, you got the faith of God. Not only does the Bible say have faith in God, it says have the faith of God. And the fruits of the Spirit, when you look at the fruits of the Spirit, in that is faith. One faith. So the Bible said, if you were wise and understood this, he said, he said, you could discern your future. You can see into your future and call your future into your life. Amen. And walk in it. Oh, yeah. Now, you have an inheritance because God has blessed you to inherit him. It's in the Bible. You enjoy the page out. Yeah, I said it. Amen. Amen. That's why God wanted to make man in his image and after his likeness. Because God wanted to, he wanted man, amen, to be, um, to be occupied with his spirit. Amen. The Bible said, if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he don't belong to Christ. If you got the spirit of Christ, you got the spirit of faith. And if you got the spirit of faith, you can discern your future. You can point it out. Amen. I wasn't even saved, beloved, when I when I started thinking about, you know, my future. I'm going to be a professional entertainer. 
I'm going to Carnegie Hall. I'm going to travel around the world. I'm going to meet Stevie Wonder and I'm going to meet the Temptations and I'm going to meet Gladys Knight. I was saying that stuff at 18 years old. And I didn't have the kind of spirit I got now, but I had I I just knew within my spirit even at that time that's where I was going until I met that man named Harold Melvin who was looking for a blue note. He said he'd been looking for me for 20 years. He said he'd been looking for me since 1954. So listen, it's time that we start living the God kind of life. But we can't live the God kind of life unless we know who we are. And we start saying it and acting like it. Amen. Just like you hear me quote Isaiah 54 and verse 17. Isaiah 54 and verse number 17. No weapon formed against me will prosper. And every tongue that shall rise up against me in judgment, you know, is condemned. This is the heritage. That's the inheritance. I have inherited that victory. This is the heritage of the servants of God. Right there, it says, I have inherited that no weapon formed against you and me will be able to prosper. I've seen the devil try to trick me. I've seen the devil try to sneak up on me. Hey Amen. I, now I'm telling the devil, don't you know I got eyes behind my head? Don't you know that I have, don't you know that we have angels in charge over us, over a hundred billion of them to keep us in all of our ways? Don't you know that we can't lose? Amen. So that scripture, I want you to circle that scripture. Because I want you to read it and study it. Because we're going somewhere else. Deuteronomy 32 verse number 29 says that if we were wise and understood this. What? This gospel. This, this, this gospel of the kingdom of God. One interpreter said that the gospel is so powerful that it's hard to believe some of the things that is there. The word gospel don't mean just good news, but it's news that seems to be so hard to believe. Hey Amen. It can't be that good. Yes, it is. It is so good. It is so powerful because what it says, you believe it, it happens. Hey Amen. Watch this. Y'all all right? <laughs> I didn't mean to get... Listen to this. Listen to the blessed nation. I mean, we're more than just the, uh, the church. We're the body of Christ. We're the body that Christ dwells in. Amen. That's what uh, 1 Corinthians 12, 27 says, Now you are the body of Christ and members in particular. Not a building. No. No, 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 no. No, you are the body that Christ's spirit dwells in and so greater is he that is in you the apostle paul said it's no longer i that live but it is christ who lives in me in other words i have inherited the spirit of christ and the life that i now live i live it by the faith of the son of god it's not even my faith it's his faith y'all Amen. It's not your faith. It's his faith. So you can't fail. There is no failure. And it's time that we, in a world that is so messed up, begin to shine like lights in the midst of a crooked and perverse society. He calls you the light of the world. The eliminators of darkness. He tells you that you have been delivered from the powers of darkness. In Colossians chapter 1. Verse number 13. It says. Who has delivered us. From the powers of darkness. And has translated us. Into the kingdom. Of his dear son. I'm not waiting. And you're not waiting. To be translated into the kingdom. You've already been translated into the kingdom of his dear son. According to Colossians chapter 1 verse number 13. It says who has delivered. First of all in verse number 12. It says giving thanks unto the father. Who has made us able to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. We are partakers of the inheritance of the saints of life. We are, look, we are partakers of the inheritance of David. The inheritance of Moses, 
the, the inheritance of Abraham. Amen. The inheritance of Meshach, Shadrach, the inheritance of Joseph. Whatever they had, we got it. And it's time that you know who you are and what you are capable of obtaining in this life just by decreeing it. Yeah, you made an image and likeness of God. But what is God like? God said, let there be and there was. Well, if you made in his image, you can say it's let there be, amen, and it will be. It will come to pass. Oh, God. I want you to live in the supernatural. I want you to live above the flesh and, and live in the spirit. Amen. And li listen to this. Y'all all right? Listen to this. In Psalms 33 and verse number 12. Psalms 33 and verse number 12. Blessed is the nation. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen. You ain't choose him. He chose you. And the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. God said, I chose you for me. I chose you to inherit me. Good God Almighty. I chose chose you, amen, as my body that I'm going to put my spirit in. You can call him the Holy Ghost, amen. You can call him divine intellect, but he's the spirit of God. I chose you. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen. So the Bible tells us that you're a chosen generation. You're a royal priesthood. You're a holy nation. You're people who were not a people, but now you are the people of God. You're God's own private property. You need to tell the devil that sometime. Amen. You don't need to say, I am God's own private property. He said he chose you for his own. That means he owns you. Inheritance. Look in first, look, I'm not going to be long. <laughs> look at Ephesians chapter number one. Let's look, let's look at that. Let's look at the inheritance over there. In Ephesians chapter number one and verse number 11. It says, in whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to his counsel and according to his will. So we see in Psalms 33 and verse number 12, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he has chosen for his own inheritance. Then we see in Ephesians, the New Testament, Ephesians chapter 1 and verse number 11, In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of his will, who worketh all things after the counsel of his own will. You're God's private property. Say, I am God's private property. And he has blessed you. Amen. Uh, and chosen you for his own inheritance, according to the Bible. According to the Bible in Psalms 33 and verse number 12. Amen. And he has blessed you. There's another scripture where it says that he has blessed us with all spiritual gifts. We have all the spiritual gifts. <laughs> amen, amen. Yes, we do. My God, my God. He says that, uh, look at Ephesians chapter number 1 and verse number 3. Ephesians 1 and 3. Say, I'm blessed. Say, I am Baraka. That means I am blessed. I am empowered to succeed and not fail. I am empowered to live. And not die. I am empowered to prosper. And not suffer poverty. I am empowered. By God. Because I'm God's own inheritance. Amen and amen. I have God's spirit. Of faith. Living on the inside of me. Good God almighty. It says in Ephesians chapter number 1. And verse number 3. Blessed. That he has blessed us 
with all spiritual gifts in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. He has blessed us. We're already blessed. We are already, look, uh, you, the King James Version said it a little different. But I'm saying it the way that it was said in the Hebrew understanding of the word. Your Bible said that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. But the Hebrew thought these blessings are spiritual gifts. You and I have spiritual gifts. You and I have the gift to say it and believe it and then see it. My grandmother, she gave me some understanding when I was little. She said, let me tell you something about the Lord. She said, he may not come when you want him to, but he's always right on time. And sometimes we get impatient. Sometimes, you know, um, we get real impatient. But as we grow in wisdom, we begin to understand that God blessed us to inherit him. Yeah, that, he, that in him we live and move and have our being. Oh, yeah. And so then he gives us the gift of declaration, <laughs> the gift to decree things that be not as though they are because our faith takes us there. All right, in Galatians 22 and 28, you will also decree a thing. You will declare it. You will also decree. When y'all going to start decreeing? Everything that you want, you got to keep on saying it till you see it. Amen. It's got to, it can't just be one time on Wednesdays or Thursdays or Sunday. No, you got to see it. And the more you see it, the closer it gets to you. Amen. And you'll walk into it. I've seen it, beloved. I'm living this. Amen. I'll be 70 years old on August the 23rd, beloved. I'm telling you, I thank God for 70 years growing in wisdom. To never turn my back on the Word of God. Even when I felt like giving up, I couldn't give up. Because His Spirit was in me. So, And it grew and it grew and it grew. And it took me to the place that I'm supposed to be. I am where I'm supposed to be. Amen. I never would have thought I would live in Illinois. I never would have never even thought about Illinois. Amen. But God brought me. Yes, he did. From a mighty long way. From a, from a little street called Blakely in Augusta, Georgia. All the way to Washington, D.C., to Philadelphia, to Texas, to Florida, Illinois. Been all around the world five times. But I see that all of my steps were chosen by God. Amen, amen. Oh, good God of mine. Listen to me. You are chosen. He said he chose you. You are chosen. Say, I am chosen. He said in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse number 9, he said, but you are chosen people. Now, if God chooses you, who going to mess with you? If God chooses us, who dare mess with you? You hear me? He said, you are chosen. He ain't talking about nobody way back 2,000 years ago. He talking about you right now. You are chosen. You are a chosen people. You are a chosen nation. You are the people that God chose for his own inheritance, according to the word of God. A royal priesthood. You are royalty. That's why you like nice stuff. That's why you, not, you like nice furniture. You like nice clothes. You like, you, know, you like money, nice money. You don't love money. You like to have it. And you are supposed to have it because your father... Amen. In the Hebrew, Abba Yah, Yahweh, your father owns the cattle upon a thousand hills. He owns all the potatoes in Idaho. He owns all the gold in Ghana and all the diamonds in South Africa. 
Amen. He owns all the wheat in Kansas, all the cheese in Wisconsin. He, the, the earth is his, your father. And he chose you that he may give you the spirit of discernment. Where's that scripture at? That he may give you the spirit of discernment. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. In Deuteronomy 32 and 29. Yeah. That he may give it to you. Amen and amen. The spirit to discern your future. Deuteronomy 32 and 20. Oh, that you were wise. My job as an apostle of God is to make you wise with the word of God. Bring you up. Raise you up. Get you to start saying stuff that the Bible says about you. And then you watch it happen. Oh, that you were wise and understood this. You understood a gospel of the kingdom of God that is so powerful. Sometimes it's hard to believe. I mean, it's hard to believe that if you have faith that's the size of a grain of mustard seed, you can say unto the mountains or anything that's standing in your way, be thou removed and it shall be removed. It's hard to believe that faith moves things. Amen. The spirit of faith, it moves things. The spirit of faith, it draws things. Amen. It is hard to believe that your thought, look at it, your thought become things by faith. Amen. It said the worlds were framed by the word of God. And if there's anything that I want to teach you, I want to teach you who you are. I know who I am. I know who I am. And I want you to know who you are. You are God's inheritance. You were born to inherit God. And when you inherit God, Romans 8, 17 says, and if we are his children, then we are his heirs. Heirs of God. And joint heirs with Christ. Sharing in his spiritual gifts or spiritual blessings. I'm excited about the future. We've already, we already start prophesying about 2022. <laughs> I'm telling you, we're in 2022. It happens to me every year. I'm always like a year ahead of time. 2022 is going to be the year for you. Amen. You're going to be elevated so high that it will seem like the devil just flee when you show up. Amen. The Bible said it in Job 18 and 18. It said, he shall be driven. The Satan shall be driven from uh, from light into darkness and chased out of the world. I'm telling you, we're going to run him ragged. So, beloved, I'm excited. I'm excited because some of my children are coming to Illinois to celebrate my 70th birthday. Amen. We want to give you the opportunity to be a blessing also um, for my 70th birthday. Um... If you, some of you know that in 2017 I actually passed from this life and God raised me from the dead. And um, so I'm, I'm blessed to be here. I mean, we want you to support the ministry. We do ministry every day. You know, we don't just teach on, 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 um, on Facebook, but we talk to people and we counsel people and we uh, we teach people it's every day with us. Oh yeah, amen. It's every day with us. So you can be supportive if you want to give towards my 70th birthday, you know, uh, or give towards the ministry. You can go to Dollar Sign Apostle 1920. All of that still goes right to Shabbat Global Ministries. 
Amen. Amen. It helps. It helps us with the School of the Prophets University, which has over a thousand students in the School of the Prophets University from Israel to Canada. Amen. <laughs> All over the United States, in Africa, in Germany. Amen. Amen. Dollar Sign Apostle 1920. You are the heirs of God and joint heirs with Christ and you have been delivered from the powers of darkness and translated into the kingdom of his dear son. I got to give you one more scripture. The book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 11. In him also we have received an inheritance. So you it's in the Bible. In Him also we have received an inheritance, a destiny. We were claimed by God as His own, His own private property, being predestined. Remember, all of this connects. All of this connects. Ephesians 1.11 In Him also we have received an inheritance. Remember when we received that inheritance back in Psalms 33 and verse number 12? That said, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom He has chosen for His own inheritance. Look at it. From, the, from, from Psalms 33 and 12 to Ephesians 1 and 11. It start, it's time that we start acting like we have an inheritance that we didn't have to pay for. All we had to do was believe the Word of God. Believe that Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus, is not just the Son of God. He is God in human form. He came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. It's a joy to be a child of God. There's nothing like it. Nothing like it. I've never been so happy before in all of my life. Gold records didn't do it. Platinum albums didn't do it. It was in Him that I found life and I found life more abundantly. I want to teach you to be wise. I want to teach you to be wise. We have a beautiful website, Shabbat. GlobalMinistries.com You can go there. Amen. We got videos. I, I keep watching this video in London, England when I preach at Glory House. I want you to go to ShabbatGlobalMinistries.com I want you can give tithes, offering donations there. You can watch videos. Amen. You can, you can, you can uh, support Helping Hands Restoration which is a part of us down in Jackson, Mississippi, under the uh, leadership of Ambassador Joe Thomas and Deacon Steve Thomas, amen, who are feeding the homeless, clothing the naked, and giving shelter to the homeless. I'm telling you, beloved, we work 24-7. I know, and God wants you to know who you are, and you're not an accident. Amen. You were meant to inherit the Spirit of Christ and to walk by faith and not by sight. So I'm Apostle Jeremiah Cummins. If you don't know me by now, I think you do. I'm looking forward to next week. I'm looking forward to all of you, to Sister Rosa, Deacon Rosa, love, God bless you, and Mother Estella out in, out in Los Angeles, California. Amen. Richard Nichols out in Los Angeles, California. Amen. I don't know if I'm missing anybody tonight. Uh, the Madisons down in Somerville, Tennessee. Amen. Again, to my brother Michael Eugene Jordan up in Brockton, Massachusetts. We thank God for all of you. If I missed anybody, amen. I will catch up with you on next Thursday. Uh, next Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless you. I want to thank my wife. Dr. Gloria Maria Cummins, who worked this camera before we came on. Amen. Look like we was going to have a problem, but she's a, she's a master technician. Amen. And <laughs> she got it working. God bless you. We'll see you on next Thursday. 
and you have a great, wonderful, awesome, amen, weekend. God bless you.